Hi, it's Jaja, and welcome to Math with Jaja. Today we're going to learn about ratios. Let's start with an example. Martha is a chef at an inn. Her juice recipe calls for a ratio of oranges and apples to be three to two. So what does this mean? What does it mean for a ratio of oranges and apples to be three to two? It means that if Martha uses three oranges to make her juice, she's going to have to use two apples. And let's say that Martha wants to make a bigger batch of juice. She's going to have to add three more oranges, and that means she'll have to add two more apples. But what if it's the other way around? What if she wants to add two apples? Then she'll have to add three more oranges. See, it's the same thing. So this tells us that Martha has to use oranges and apples in groups of five, where there are three oranges and two apples in each group. Martha can use one group of fruit to make her juice, or she, she can use two groups or three. She can use how many number of groups she wants, but she cannot use a part of a group. Now we can use this to solve problems. Here's the first question. If Martha uses 24 oranges to make her juice, how many apples does she need to use to keep the same recipe? So this question tells us the number of oranges Martha uses and asks us how many apples she needs to use. Let's look at the picture. So what is the relationship between the number of apples and the number of oranges? No matter how many groups Martha uses, we can see that the number of apples is always two-thirds the number of oranges. And since there are 24 oranges, the number of apples is going to be two-thirds times 24, which is 16. So Martha uses 16 apples to make her juice. We started off with something that we were unfamiliar with, like ratios, and turned it into something that we were comfortable with, like fractions, to help us solve the question easier. Let's look at another problem. If Martha uses a total of 25 apples and oranges, how many apples does Martha have to use to keep her recipe? So this question gives us the number of total fruit Martha uses and asks us the number of apples she, she needs to use. Based off this picture, we can see that no matter how many groups Martha uses, the number of apples will always be two-fifths of the number of fruits. And since Martha uses a total of 25 fruit, to find the number of apples, we can do two-fifths times 25, which is 10. So Martha uses 10 apples to make her juice. Today we learned how to visually represent ratios. We also learned how to convert a ratio problem into a fraction problem to make it easier to solve. Like in today's example, we used a ratio of oranges to apples of three to two. And we found that the number of apples was two thirds the number of oranges. And we found the number of apples was two fifths the number of total fruit. We're going to do more ratio examples in the next video. Thanks for watching.